legend sunrise meets my skin. We're about to head in to Team Chung Tai in San Diego to get Harlow checked out and check out the um, what's going on inside her mouth. Um, we are freaking exhausted today basically dead inside so uh yeah <laughs> let's head in and then we also have danielle um who is an awesome lactation consultant meeting us after to help latching i with latching my milk just came in like this morning i think um my boobs feel super weird so we're gonna work on that and very excited to get harlow all sorted out so she can eat properly um yeah let's go inside So when there's nipple pressure on the upper lip, that's like the doorbell that opens up the mouth. They can't help mm -hmm. but go, oh, because it's a, like a knee-jerk reaction, yeah. right? So when you hold it to mouth, sorry girl, oh, you're good. and create that suction there, so now your hand's going to replace mine and to where you're holding pressure on her shoulders. And Get up there. Mm -hmm. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then this side. Right uh -huh. up there. Okay. And then under your tongue. She's a mover and a shaker. Golden. Golden. I'll follow only golden. 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 Golden things. That is the sound of Harlow not being happy that I had to pull her off the tit. I am headed to go get my nails done. Um, look at these. I had to cut one of them down because I had to do her tongue tie stuff. And so it was just way too point. I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to have pointy nails uh, to bring home a baby. That was a rookie mistake. So just word to the wise. That is the sound. Harlow not being happy that I had to pull her off the tit. I am headed to go get my nails done. Um, look at these. I had to cut one of them down because I had to do her tongue tie stuff. And so it was just way too point. I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to have pointy nails uh, to bring home a baby. That was a rookie mistake. So just word to the wise, don't do that. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to get my nails done. Finally, everything that I got done early was like, I got everything done before like April 30th, thinking that she was going to get here, like before Cinco de Mayo or Cinco de Mayo. And she didn't come till May 22nd. So my lashes are overdue. My nails are overdue. And it kind of actually put me in a bad spot because the timing was awful, but we tried. Um, so I am a little late right now to get my nails done. So I'm going to hope that I'm not super late, but this is the first time I've been out by myself, uh, in about 16 days or so. I feel like we're finally kind of getting into a rhythm now where it's like, I actually like am missing her and like, can't wait to kiss her little face. Um, because it was just like survival mode the first few days, um, and whatnot. So it was really late, so I was like, hey, you do whatever you want. Like, whatever's easy. You can paint in black if you want. I don't want to mess up your whole schedule or your day. And she was like, no, you need something colorful. So she did this. It looks really cute. Next on the agenda... Oh my gosh, look how crazy I look. <laughs> this breast pump in here. Um, is my hair my lashes. It is also Piper's birthday. Huh, is it your birthday today? You are two years old. Happy second birthday. Yeah, happy second birthday. She's just sleeping over here. Hi, pretty girl. What's uh, in your shirt? Is it a gift for Piper for her birthday? You ready for your birthday present? What is that? It's a llama. We are officially doing like our first outing with baby. She's back here. There's so much space in the raptor. Oh, you were just fine sleeping and now we're stopped and now everything's gone to shit. We're going to look at a coffee table. We really need a coffee table in there. Um, and then we're going to go to a nursery. I'm hoping to get some like basil. Oh, that's good. 
That's good. Now can you keep it in your little mouth? All right, we got our table, but we forgot the little attachment for our stroller. This is like a nursery I've never been to, actually in San Marcos. Pretty stoked to check it out. So, uh, we can't fit everything in the truck, so. <laughs> you need to put a seatbelt on, though. Yeah, I'm planning on it. Okay. It usually takes us 10 minutes to spoil the parking spot. Uh, what? It usually takes us like 10 minutes to spoil the parking spot, so. What are you trying to say? It takes me 10 minutes to pull out of a parking spot? Wow. I guess he doesn't know who he's talking to. I can back into any parking spot and get out of any parking spot real quick. Here's what we bought from the nursery. So I gotta show you the coffee table we bought too. So this, I forget what it is, uh, organic squash. Look at these basils that I got. So this is basil. These are big leaf basil. So I got three of them, these three. So I can do some, um, <clears throat> make some pesto. Nick um, has been having like a pesto caprese sandwich I've been making and he's loving it. So he's like, I need more pesto. I'm like, uh, I don't have any basil. And then the ones that you get from the grocery store are ridiculously small. So then this one is um, red bell pepper. And this one is also red bell pepper. Um, so we're gonna have to plant these guys. We planted these. I haven't been vlogging since we planted this. Um, it's an heirloom tomato. I think they're really small though. Cause like, look, it's already getting ripe. And then we also bought some other stuff. I got some more um, cilantro. This one is the yellow crook neck squash. It's doing really good. It's cool because there's like quite a few in the one, which is awesome. And then um, this is Japanese cucumber. They're those like really good kind that you put in like water because they're super flavorful. This is shishito peppers. I freaking love shishito peppers. Um, and if you garden, you're probably looking at this being like, okay, bitch, you're not supposed to let this flower. But these are mostly for the rabbits. This got transplanted. And uh, yeah, so the reason it, this just looks like garbage is why I got these new ones. But um, oh, it smells so good though. And then this one is heirloom um, spaghetti squash. So we need to look up the what we need to plant all this near, because I think I'm gonna plant these by the other basil. Well, you know what, I'm gonna Google it. I need to look at companion plants and see where I'm supposed to plant all this. We just finished planting everything. Now we're kind of checking the watering out. Looks pretty good. I cannot believe how this mint has grown. I think I, did I tell you guys how this came about? So the bartender who bartended our wedding and baby shower basically brought like, what, like six plants? Six like little, like had a couple little of these guys on it, plants. Um, Cause I had a mint drink in there and we were trying to get mint, but Nick had already got mint from like Restaurant Depot or something like that. So I just planted these in here and like, it's just taken over this whole area. I think I did tell you that. Cause you guys were like, don't plant it in your garden bed. <laughs> What's up y'all? On to more important things. Let's see if I can zoom out. I know it's really cool looking at my face, but. All right, so makeup's cool and plants are cool and stuff, but check this out. Beer, garbage. What? 2022, baby, welcome. Harlow is sleeping like a little angel right now. And thanks to my stepmom, Karen, we got sleep last night. Thank you. <laughs> it was so nice to like fall asleep, like knowing that I wasn't gonna have to wake up. <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh my gosh, it was amazing. She just got into town yesterday um, and I just put like our little wedding uh, baby shower video up on the internet. Nick is going to get her birth certificate because we need to get moving on her passport because we're going to Germany <sighs> really soon. I gotta figure out Father's Day presents for my dad now and Nick. I have to buy two. I have to be responsible for two. So 
I don't know, what do you guys do for Father's Day? I don't know. My dad is never any help. He never tells me anything that he wants, so I just have to get something and hope that it's good. And then for Nick, I don't know what to get him either. I just pumped because she's sleeping and my boobs were like leaking all over my shirt. I got like about that much in every single one. I got two ounces in my right boob and it looks like a little more in the left. Pretty impressive. It's not cold. Oh, it's like okay. 80 degrees. Sorry, I'm used to Arizona now. <laughs> okay, we are returning some stuff from the baby shower to Walmart. We've got the beast in here. We're gonna see what happens. Trying to, hopefully she goes to sleep. I've got the Moby here, if not, um, wish us luck. Karen's helping train me to how to bring a newborn out because it's terrifying to me. We are back from Walmart. She stayed asleep the entire time and now she won't wake up. Grandma just fed her and now she's dead to the world. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff we got. So she has a little photo shoot on Thursday. I thought this was really cute. Got all this at Walmart. Um, this is gonna be so cute with her little vans. Um, little baby suit is so cute. It's only, it was $8.44 too. I'm like, love this. I think this was for a boy, but she's gonna love it. <laughs> the little feet, so cute. I'll link you guys to all this stuff if I can find it on Walmart's website too. I don't know how this turban is supposed to fit on a newborn. But the bathing suit is so cute. Yeah, we should. I'll pull that off in a second. Little bloomers with the little shirt. Super cute. Here's another bathing suit. It's a little two piece. Then we got this little one. Has like the cutest little hat with it, too. So cute. And then this one, I don't think she's gonna fit in quite yet. The sizing varies so much. Yeah. <laughs> like this is zero to three, and then some of the other ones totally look like, yeah, but this is really cute. Look at that, I love that. Like that is zero to three months, and then this is three to six months. I'm like, um, this would fit her, this will fit her for a little bit longer, and then it'll be too small. He talks so loud. He screams on the phone, he's literally screaming. <laughs> shitting glass. I felt like I just shit a glacier with glass in it. It looks like it landed up this way. Little yeah. meet and greet grandma. Well, look at that, look. Yeah. It's either gas or, uh, yeah. or pooping. <laughs> Which is it? Goodness. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Might be some gas. Might be some gas. There we go. Gassy girl. There we go. Grandma's got good experiences. <laughs> I know, I was gonna say, how did no, thank you. Thank I was you. gonna say you have quite a few and you don't you didn't have all the gadgets. Yeah. Oh huh. I, well, I know. And and just like how I when I had Becca and then Kristen was seven, yeah. Thinking, how did you do it? She's saying the same thing with four four years yeah. old, four years Kathy, old, two years old. Kathy girl. called me up one day and she said, um, Arthur just turned 11 months and I realized you were having another baby. You have another baby. Oh, and yeah. she said, I can't manage with one. I said, you know what you just do. I, I, I don't know. Fist. I didn't That's think amazing. That. It is Harlow's newborn shoot today. Although since she was two weeks late, she's kind of like a month old already, but. Look how cute. Stay awake or stay asleep. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're fine. So cute. And it's Melissa, she did her maternity photos. So cute. Look how cute she is. Her little tootsies. My boobs just, I think that's what a letdown is when you feel like you just had a boob job and that's how bad you're, if you've had a boob job before, then you know how your boobs feel the next morning or when you wake up from surgery. That's what it feels like when your milk comes in and like maybe when you have a letdown, I think, cause that's what I feel like every time I'm like, whoa. Anyways, um, Nick is outside working. Karen, my stepmom, who's been helping us and who's leaving on Sunday. Um, she just went to run a couple errands for us, which is super, super nice. I am so grateful for that. I don't know what I do without her. 
Um, baby is sleeping over here in her mamaru. I am putting together a car bag right now. I got these at Walmart for $9.99 for two of them. I'll show you what it looks like. This is a bigger one that I got. I thought this was a really cute idea too. I have a couple friends who are about to have a baby. So I got these so I could put like their gifts in here and like ship it to her in this. So I think these are really cute. Um, so we are putting together, I put some diapers in here. I put a bottle, I'm gonna put some formula in here as well um, for emergencies. These are some wipes. This is the formula that we got before my milk came in. She had a couple feedings of this um, because she was just starving. Uh, this is all the way from Germany. This is supposedly like one of the best ones you can get. So if you're looking for formula or need formula, this came to us in about two days. And I wanna say it was about $26 a box. So if you need formula, I know what's going on with the formula shortage, uh, grab this. I've got wipes i've got diapers i need a blanket yeah so i'm gonna work on this and hopefully i can get this done before she wakes up <sighs> literally i feel like it's been a blur since she was born i feel like i've had no time to do anything the moment i set her down she starts crying again so we've been really lucky this morning having like a few minutes and <laughs> then the free time that i do have i feel like i'm spending trying to clean and do laundry and then she wakes up and then i have no time to do anything for myself so um and that's even with someone here helping. So I don't know how people do this solo. I've seen some of your comments that you were single moms and wow, you are amazing um, because this is no joke. <laughs> I mean, every baby's totally different, but I feel like we've got a very fussy baby on our hands. Um, so yeah, okay, I'm gonna take advantage of this time right now, put together the rest of this bag and I'll show it to you guys when I'm done. Last touch, a couple snacks for mom. So quickly, some Ziploc bags for any diapers or trash we need to get rid of, wipes, an extra change of clothes, diapers, my least favorite pacifier since I probably won't be using this much. Hopefully, maybe. Uh, actually, I probably will be. I should probably just, but I just don't have enough of the other ones that I like. So once I build up my stash, <laughs> burp cloth, blanket, bottle with some formula. I hate these bottles, by the way. Um, they're the MAM ones. And this opens up so that you can like self sterilize, but it's not self sterilizing. You still have to put it in the microwave and like, I don't need to put plastic in the microwave. It's weird. And this just leaks. I didn't know that this was like this when I bought these. So just steer clear of these. I got them at Target and they suck. So, um, I don't know why it's so hard to just boil things or hand wash. I, it's weird. Um, <laughs> and then last but not least, um, a bottle of water so that we can, um, Put it in there i'm probably going to transfer this to a glass one uh i don't know but i don't think you're supposed to have like hot uh i don't think you're supposed to leave bottles of water in the car and then drink them because like the plastic puts off like bpa or whatever i don't know i just heard that so i'll probably transfer that to a glass one when i can find one but that's what I've got so far. If I am missing anything in here, please let me know. Doctor recommended this is what we've been using for probiotics for her. I'm gonna mix this up and put it in her bottle. This is not exactly how you're supposed to mix it up, but you're also supposed to feed it with a syringe. She hates the taste of it. So all I can do is put it in the right ounces of bottle, mix it up, and it's pretty granulated still. Um, but this one's like a very expensive, like has to be kept in your freezer one. I know baby, hang on. And this is a three ounce bottle of breast milk and that is exactly how much she should be eating right now. I also wanna show you guys an app that I've been using. Um, my phone's in the other room so I'll show it to you in a bit but I've been using it to keep track of like which breast I feed on last and how long and if the last bottle was formula or breast milk. Um, so I'll show that to you guys but I'm gonna get her this bottle real quick. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach out? Hi, pretty girl. Go clean your little belly button. <laughs> this is what we're using. We've got a few different ones, but this one we've been using their um, lotion. This smells really good. It's like 
lavender and rosemary. It smells very essential oily. I love it. Someone pooped her pants, so she had to have a bath. That was pretty gnarly. It was like on your arms and everything. <laughs> How cute is this? Nick so just brought me this piece of wood Jada so I can watch my wasn't show. Sure. It's so sweet. Nick is outside in his underwear and shoes. <laughs> He's doing some cement stuff out there. He is so amazing. He's putting a shade up over our garden and he's literally in his underwear. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like a human being today. I like did my makeup, I did my hair. I don't know what's going on here, but it's, you're only gonna see this when I'm filming. <sighs> I'm gonna film for the first time, other than this vlog, on my real camera, my real camera. Um, I've got my stepmom here for, this is the last day, she's leaving tomorrow, it's so sad. I've been so grateful to have her here, we have been. Um, she took the baby last night and we got to sleep all night long. It was incredible, um, but, I'm gonna take the next couple hours to film right now because I need to film her birth story, Harla's birth story, <laughs> finally in my labor and delivery and all that. Um, so it's interesting, I'm having to be very, um, very uh, specific with my time, that's not the word I was looking for. I have to be very, um, that's not the word I'm looking for, but very specific with my time and how I use it because I just only get certain chunks now where before I could like fuck off for like three hours like fucking around the internet or Googling stuff or like, you know, whatever. And now I have to be very um, particular with my time about like what I do and like when I do it because I only have a certain chunk. And right now I know that I have a certain chunk because if she cries, someone is going to grab her, grandma. But any other time, it's gonna be me that has to go do it. So. Uh, yeah, I have to be very, um, what is the damn word I'm looking for? I had it earlier, I said it because I said it to myself, I was like, I have to be very like blank with my time. And now I can't remember that word, whatever. That's gonna drive me nuts. As soon as I stop recording, I'm gonna remember. Anyways, so I'm gonna film that right now. And then we are doing a little date night. Um, my stepmom's letting us do that tonight. It's so nice. So we're gonna do that. Um, and then hopefully I can edit this tomorrow morning some point. We do have to take her to the airport, which is so sad. I almost like kind of want to like grandma nap her and just like not let her leave. <laughs> it's not an option because I will pay you. How much do you want? What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no war.